Okay, hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Haven't made a video in a long time, sorry about that. Uh, well, as with the norm with all of my videos, it's not going to be a long one, like the rest of the guys that, well, basically drone on for more than 15 minutes about flagships. We're going to talk about something that anyone, well, the, even the average person can afford. So here today we've got the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, as you can see right here, and this is the global version I've got, so it's not the one that's specifically to China. Alright, so, and uh, yeah, okay, let's get started. As you can see, this is the 3GB version, uh, 3GB RAM version, with the 32GB storage capacity. And the color we have today is the, uh, well, not sure which color, shade of black, but it is the black version, so. First things first is the phone itself. I'm gonna set that aside. Uh, and uh, surprise, surprise, the thing that even Apple won't spring for, Xiaomi provides. You gotta love that. And we've got the UK top plug, which I really like because can't use those two pin ones in my country. And uh, the USB cable. It is a the normal mini type cable, yeah, and not a USB-C. Uh, you can forgive them for that, as this this is quite a cheap phone. I don't think it even cracks three hundred dollars. So uh, yeah, that's it. There's no earphones in here. Uh, well, again, you gotta forgive them because it is cheap, and they did quite well because this has a an octa-core processor, according to the well the specification note on the back so alright 5.5 inches going with the LCD display here but again can't really complain we've got a front facing 5 megapixel and a 12 megapixel at the back so I'm gonna turn it on here let's see the loading times also, we've got the fingerprint reader at the same spot as the Pixel, so it's a lot easier for you to use than the Samsung Galaxy S8, which is really, well, all of you know, is an annoying spot. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to wait for this to load for a little bit and we'll see in actual real time how long it takes to load up. Okay, that wasn't long at all. So all we have to do is just go through this, the setup. This phone, which takes maybe about two, three minutes, depending on how your reading skills are, which anyone can. So this is it for my video. I'll let you know how it actually works in real-world applications in a few days. Thank you very much. Like it if you like the video. If you didn't like it, dislike, whatever, comment. Let me know what's up.